Hello, listeners, and welcome to the very first exciting episode of the Tableverse podcast. My name is Justin, and I will be your Star Lord for this original Starfinder campaign. Playing with me at the table today, we have... Hi, I'm Allie, and I'll be playing Quib, the Usagi operative. Hi, my name's Connor, and I'll be playing Paul, the Lashenta envoy. My name is Quinn, and I'll be playing Kobak, the Vesk mystic. My name's JD, and I'll be playing Captain Eustace Koreana, the Marikwai Salarian. Today we have a very special Session Zero for you where we will be meeting all of these lovely characters, seeing where they are starting out in this universe, and how they are all going to join the crew of the Terrapin. Tell me more about the ship. The Terrapin is a P-05 freighter class ship. It's big, yeah? Yeah. Big enough for you? Uh, you don't know how much Pal can take. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. I don't. <laughs> you know, uh, that attitude you may never find Roll for out. bulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm encumbered at 11. <laughs> well, it's definitely bigger than that. <laughs> Anyways, okay. the Tarifin, she uh, looks like a turtle. Well, that just makes sense. It's mostly a cargo ship, right? Yeah, it's a cargo ship. Turtle like. Oh, it's a freighter, right? Freighter yeah. Cargo. Freighter class, P05. JD, uh, describe for us, if you will, your character, Eustace Kriana, the Marquai Salarian. Eustace Kriana is your uh, typical Marquai. Tall, slender, covered in fur. His is more of a sunburst kind of orange. He's up there in age, so uh, he's got shots of gray all through in parts of his hair. One of the first things you'll notice with him, other than his uh, wide brim 10 gallon hat that has seen better days, is the fact that his tail has been reconstructed. There is a techno brace around it about halfway through. What happened there? That's a story for another day. Bum, bum, bum. Eustace Kriana, you, you have just purchased a starship, is that correct? That's correct. He's a big boy, but he'll get the job done. And for what purpose have you purchased this starship? Well, I've spent a good deal of my later years doing work for other folks around this here galaxy, but I've never gotten the chance to uh, really stretch free. I've been told that, uh, well, the man who owns his land and the peat underneath owns the world. And for me, my land and my farm is going to be my ship, and I call them the Terrapin. How much did you spend on this starship? Uh, I'd rather not divulge that bit of information, but there were a lot of favors that I had to do to get there. Eustace, every good starship needs a crew. Do you have any people in mind you might want to reach out to to help you man this space vessel? There's a certain group of people that uh, I've grown rather attached to over the years that I like to do more jobs with here and there, but honestly, I feel like I'd rather all of us to get together and be a bit more than just friends, maybe become a bit of a family on our ship. It's very sweet. Is family important to you, Eustace? Family is vital. The Maraquai species, we it literally takes seven of us to create a child. Every single person in our village is an important cog in the machine. For me, since I no longer have my village, I need to create my own new family. It's something I long for and something I really uh, feel like I need. What happened to your village, Eustace? I'd rather not talk about it. Across the table, we have... Paul, could you please describe yourself for us, please? Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a Lashenta. I'm from Castroville. I'd say I'm shorter than Kriana. We're doing by comparison, which is something I'm apt to do. I think competition and comparison is very important to life and lets you know where you stand. My clothes are amazing. I think we can all agree on that. They're, uh, they're custom, so I can't tell you where, but I could show you some, some similar pieces that probably you could afford at a more like chain store. This top hat that I wear is an heirloom from my dad's side of the family, so I like that. I have purple hair, which is genetic and not dyed, which is fun, and that's, physically, that's me. Where are you today, Paul? Hanging out, laying low on a triaxis. Well, triaxis is how I grew up saying it. We, um, my family had a summer home that they purchased here during, when it was in a summer phase. Mm Mm-hmm. The whole planet, right? it went to a winter phase, and then we stopped going there. So I've been hanging out in um, this very modest three-story mansion, and the grounds have just really gotten out of control, so I haven't really touched those. And I've just been eating, drinking, and I found a whole series of um, like little passages in the house that it, we, it was fully uh, staffed by the Usagi. 
back when we stayed here. So I've just been sort of looking around and those servants quarters isn't right, but they had like a whole a whole different network and I'd never been in there. So Where does Eustace Kriana find you today? When someone came knocking, I was like, whoa, who am I to you? What's happening? Oh God, how should I speak? Then he came on down with what I later learned was the terrapin. We shared a, a, a bit of food. Do you, do you like the food? I um no, it, it's it's lovely food. I I really really like it. it what's your favorite part of it? <laughs> <laughs> these um these slimy things they look like slugs, but I assume you wouldn't be serving me slugs. Oh no, those are slugs. You got it right. It's a that's a Triaxian Triaxian winter slug, only available during winter. Which this gosh darn thing. You know when I came here, I thought it was gonna be summer. Uh, but it's been cold as a dwarven ball sack let me tell you <laughs> and uh, you know you'd think at, at some point with the fires and the blankets you'd be warm but it just never happens <laughs> the fire is very nice though it That's, is isn't it's, it it's very soothing it's homey so how you been paul it's been been a while yeah it's been what oof six months it's been good i have to say that i've gotten a little bored being here alone it's just been me and my thoughts and you know i'm a chatterbox but gosh darn it if the echo you know, I've taken to imagining conversations that I would have had. And you and I, we we don't talk much. But me and Kobach in my head have been woo, just talking up a star. Sh- man. It should be a sitcom. Let me tell you. Well, Paul, I've come here because uh, I'm putting together a team. We're going back to the winery? Possibly. Mm. <laughs> but it doesn't matter where we go. It's wherever we're needed. Oh, this sounds selfless. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be pay. Oh, okay. Well. We're back. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> mm. Yet, mm. Did you take a gander at the ship I came in? Or? I did. It was... What is the word that I want to use carefully? You know, it suits you. Well, you know, he's a work in progress. Mm. That's for sure. And the name is the name is sort of set? The, na- the Terrapin? Mm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I named it after uh, these creatures that are very native to my village. Oh, where are you from again? Marada. I'm from Marada. Marada. Oh my goodness. It, yeah, it's a, it's the small moon. You know? I love it there. It's it, lovely, lovely jungles and such. Quaint. A simple people. We are we are simple. You know, we we love our farms. My cousin. Now she's whole oof she's the worst to be honest with you but she had the best cake there and she went up to a villager and she said can i have this cake recipe and they said no since she killed the villager and found it written down and then we had it at her birthday just killed just go ahead and killed one of the villagers i told you she was the worst i'm just saying your cakes are just top notch they're pretty good they're they're not bad they're <laughs> not, not worth not a bad. life for sure no that seems like... something good came out of it yeah is where i've landed well it's important to keep a positive attitude. I, I, think, so. I think it's nice liking things, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the terrapin, the, the, uh, terrapin. the homely vessel that you have parked <laughs> on my lawn. Um, <laughs> you I know, mean, I want to be straight with you, Kriana. I have so many commitments here. I just I have to have to check my schedule, and then there's just so much going on here that I need to take care of. I don't. I understand you. Uh, clearly, are very much a busy man yeah. right now. This is kind of a one-time offer. I've uh, selected a few people that I feel like I could work with at least for a little bit. Oh, room and board. Yes, I am offering room and board. Okay, and then you'd get one of the rooms in the ship. And hypothetical, what if you know how Quib is? What if one of her enemies came and was like, "Gar, give me Quib," and like you would? No, I, I would never do that. What would you do? I'd fight that fucker. All right, well let me um let me gather my things. I will need the most secure room just because you know I like my privacy. If I hate it, you have to drop me back off. That's fine. Uh, let's say a uh, bit of a trial basis. Yeah, I get no questions asked, free ripcord. I could say it whenever. That's fine. Okay. How much time do you need to get ready? Uh, well, my bags are upstairs if you just want to work on those. And then I, th- I thought I would take like a supervisor role. I don't know my way around the ship. I don't want to <laughs> pack things wrong. Right. <laughs> just that second staircase on the left. <laughs> right. Here's the thing, Paul. If you're going to be aboard my ship, there's a few rules you do have to follow. Oh. I am the captain. Fine. Whether you like it or not, the terrapin is mine. You can most certainly. Yep. It's all yours. But that also means everyone else aboard has to pull their own weight. Luckily, I'm so svelte. 
The crew of two make their way to Absalom Station, where they hope to find, or at least Eustace hopes to find, the next member of their team, their family. Allie, would you please describe for us Quib? Listen, my name is Quib. I am very cute. Get used to it. I'm a fucking adorable, but I will cut you. Okay? I got big ass ears. So I hear you talking shit. And I got these big ass feet, so I can kick your fucking ass, okay? Laughs are okay, guys. Oh, my La- God. Laughs are very much encouraged. Oh, oh lovely. I was raised on these streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom. So I'm like a pretty good person to have around, you know, because like I don't need no maps. <laughs> I am a maps. <laughs> Google maps? Fuck you, quibble maps. <laughs> <laughs> quibble maps. You have yet Do to not. describe it. <laughs> what you I want. talked about my ears. I talked about I'm cute as fuck. I'm a cute little rabbit, all right? You picture a rabbit. <laughs> 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 now you know what I look like, okay? That's fair. You know what I look like? I'm like three feet tall. I'm like a big ass rabbit, but I'm like little compared to everyone else. Around this bitch. <laughs> but listen, you fucking touched my tail. <laughs> we all have some problems. <laughs> leave. Don't tell me to leave. That's what everyone else did, okay? That's why I'm. <gasps> yeah. That's why I'm here by myself. You didn't know that part about her. Yeah. I love it, though. That's why you're in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Quib, where are you today? Uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm working this cup game in Golgi, which is like pretty much like the Usagi community in Absalom Station. Uh, you know, just trying to make a little scratch, get some credits. Honestly, it's been a minute since I got some real work. And uh, those drinks ain't... Fr- Actually, the drinks are free if I go to... What was that bar? Dovetails. Dovetails. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I drink for free at Dovetails, so ooh. you could be finding me at Dovetails. Ooh. But- <laughs> <laughs> we do it every time. I'm out here just trying to hustle some credits. Quib, if you had to say what you are absolutely best at, what would it be? Mm, it's just like so many things to choose from. Mm. Oh shit, you just got stabbed with my knife. That's how good I am at that. You didn't see that coming. Oh, cut you. While well, you was thinking, I was cutting. <laughs> While you were thinking, I was That's a t shirt right there. That's a merch opportunity. <laughs> merch opportunity. That's a t shirt right there. That's the first t shirt from the Tableverse podcast. I like that. I like that quib has become Cardi B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eustace, you walk up to this cup game. There's a, there's a little bit of a crowd. All of a sudden, someone's like, yo, she cheated me. There ain't no fucking ball under that cup. Let's fuck this rabbit up. Motherfucker, who said that? That was me, motherfucker. Oh, am I cheating? You're just not no good at it. Maybe I'd be better if there was actually a fucking ball. All right, well, let me, let me tell you what. No, let me tell you what. I want a refund. I'm three times your size. I can take you. All right, how about this? How about I play you again, double or nothing? I did very well before. I'm sure it'll work out for me right now, double or nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go. I can't wait. What do I do now? Just like- uh, give me a, a sleight of hand. That'd be a 25. All right, excellent. So he picks the middle cup, and as anyone knows, it's never the middle cup. So you have won again. That's right, bitch. And just so you know, here's where that ball was the whole time. You what fuck. the fuck? It's rigged, man. Ain't nobody can win this game. The game ain't rigged, bitch. Your brain rigged. Shit. I think you might be right. I'm going to go home and consider my life. Yeah, why don't you go sit on that for a minute? And he walks off, and he goes home to consider his life. Eustace, you now have an opening. No one is at the table. Perfect. So uh, this is what you're doing right now, eh, Quib? Oh, so Kriana, how you be? I feel like I'm doing a bit better than you right now. Okay, listen. I don't know why you come up into my business just start talking shit immediately. The second you see me, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Hello. Could I get a hug, please? It's been a minute. You're right. My apologies. Then I hug her. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to see you too. <laughs> Listen, I've uh, I've come with uh, asking you a question. Pull out a little hollow projector kind of thing to show her image of the ship. This here is uh, the Terrapin. This is a new ship that I've acquired. Ooh, daddy. He's a uh, he's a pretty good looking fella. I'm putting together a crew, and well, honestly, I need someone to, uh, who can watch everyone's back. So wait for that question. Well, the first person that came to mind was you. I'm looking if you're willing to come aboard, be part of the crew. Like who else is in this crew though? Well. As of right now, I n- <laughs> <laughs> As of right now, Paul. Hi, hey, Paul. How are you? Oh, I've just been missing, missing you every day. Really? I haven't thought about you too much, but it's nice to I see you. I'm sarcastic, bitch. Fuck. Oh, that's unkind. 
But we're going to get like other people too, not like just Paul. No, it's not just going to be Paul and not just going to be you. We've so got a few a, other people in it's mind. It's the three of us together, I think, would be the core unit. The triad, if you will. Sure, Paul. Quib, do you want to come? It's just been me and Kriana, and he keeps beating me in checkers. Yes, bitch, I'm going to come. What the fuck else I got to do? Hustle these idiots out of fucking credits? Oh, uh, we can always come back if you get bored, and you can hustle some more idiots. No, I mean, yeah, I want to go with you She guys. gets God. a free outski? You got a free outski. I had to ask. I'm giving everyone one. I mean, you could take that outski. Yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, mine? Take yeah. mine right <laughs> for real though my only concern is like so we're all gonna be working together right we're gonna be working yes. we're gonna be living gonna together making money together yeah i remember from last time okay, i just worry that like we're not all gonna be like you know pulling our own weight all right. that's very rude to kriana when he's offering you his home well, I'm just speaking of hypotheticals. He can do just as much with that broken tail as we can with our amazing bodies. That's very <laughs> ableist, Quip, and I don't appreciate it. I mean, like, my body is amazing, so, like, thank you. You're but... welcome. It's looking even better than before. Oh, my God, thank you. Nine to ten, who would have thunk it? But here we are. All right, see, this. where was the side of you before? I'm liking you so much better already. <laughs> thank you. Anyways, Quib, you get to <laughs> decide which bunk you want. Uh, so go and hop on in and uh, give her a whirl. Okay, it's kind of a microaggression when you say hop like that, but I will <laughs> <laughs> yes. As soon as it was coming out of my mouth, I was like, yeah. "She is gonna run with this." Yeah. <laughs> her. Tell her. <laughs> Quinn, describe for me Kobak. Kobak. Kobak is strong. Kobak is large. Kobak wears flowing robes that catches the breeze. <laughs> Kobak is perfection in vest form. His skin are brown scales, the glint of gold. He is beautiful. Is he smart or is he kind of dumb? He's very educated. He attended Hexton University. He graduated top of his class. He continued his education after and has three, three doctorates. What is a doctorate? It is a piece of paper that you pay lots of money for. (laughs) (laughs) And when you obtain it, you become a specialist in the fields. And what fields are you a specialist in? I am a specialist in healing, in biology, in magics such as levitation. I also am a master of mental abilities. Now with three doctorates, you must know everything there is to know about magic. There's always more to learn. Where do you find yourself today, Kobak? I am on my home world of Akaton, and I am meditating as I am wont to do in the middle of the day. Is there anyone around you, or you're in a private area? I am in the courtyard of my family's estate. My parents are around, as are my lesser educated siblings. <gasps> lesser educated, so they don't lesser. know as much about magic as you do? No, they are warriors. My entire family is warriors. Oh. Well, that's odd. No, not for Vesk. Well, I mean, it's odd that if they're warriors, then why did you why did you study magic? Because I had an affinity for magic. I showed great ability as a child, and my mother fostered it and helped me succeed. My father did not approve. Did he try to stop you? Many times, yes. Like physically, or just he has verbally? Vesk. Everything is physical with Vesk, but my mother persevered. And now I am brilliant because of her. And so your dad is just okay with you hanging out at their estate? Not really. He keeps asking questions like, when is it moving out? When will he get a job? It hasn't (laughs) killed anything in a while. (laughs) (laughs) I meditate to keep myself calm and out of his gaze. Well, as you are meditating, you see and hear a loud roar of engines as a P-05 freighter class cargo ship lands just outside the perimeter of your family's estate and walking down the what was it like an exit ramp what the hell is that thing called you see your old buddy eustace kriana ah friend welcome to my home this is a lovely place here thank you i would appreciate that i wish i could say the same for your vessel he's a work in progress it is uh interestingly shaped i like to think that he's got character it looks like a big turtle have you seen those before? I, I think my great, great, great grandfather was a turtle. So I thought they were just native to Marada. You should study more. Clearly. <sighs> How you been? I've been good. As good as it be conspe- expected in the surroundings. Lots of ignorance and blood. Well, Kobak, I, uh, do I call you Dr. Kobak? No, 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 no. Sir will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sir Kobak. Yes. I hate to pull you away from such a beautiful garden, 
but uh it is a courtyard a courtyard sorry yes the garden is in the back it is separate this is between the wings of the do you do you not know what a I, court, you I, should you should read you I, should read more i grew up in a tree i don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know about architecture. I am so sorry for you. Regardless, I, I don't mean to be pulling you away, but uh, I'm putting together a team a bit more permanent than the last time. Aye, with the toilet. The toilet's involved. Uh, who else? Quib. Oh, that the, the tasty little... Uh... Well, preferably you wouldn't be tasting oh, it. Oh, no, 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 no. She just looks delicious. Would you like some of her? No. We have, some, we have some inside. I thought that was illegal. What is the law? <laughs> <laughs> Saying that she's a part of the team, I'd rather it's, not. It would it be seems in like case. an insult. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I'm glad you're picking up what I'm putting down. Anyways, the team is more of a it's more of a crew, more of a family that I'm putting together. And you would like me to join? I would. You're a smart fella. Right, smarter than I am. Right, smarter than toilet. Than most. Definitely smarter than toilet. Well, that's, I guess that's a low bar now that I'm thinking about it. Very, very low bar. For those of you listening that, that do not know, uh, toilet is Kobach's... Pet name for Paul. Paul. There's going to be egg on faces. <laughs> There's going to be egg on lots of faces. You come egg? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that about Lashenta? Oh, Where man. I would have to be able to continue studies. I would require time to leave and study as I wish. That's all right. I'm, currently, I'm giving everyone a bit of a trial to see if they mesh well with the crew. Mm, I see. Just uh, just about a month or so. And, uh, of course, since we're aboard our own ship, we can always come back to where you want to go. Oh, and, and, and what of uh, compensation will there be? Any type of compensation? Well, we've been doing a lot of jobs, and uh, there'll be even distribution of pay. Because I, uh, I, have, I have been cut off. I suppose I may join the crew, despite the toilet. Despite the toilet? Oh, I give him a hard time. But that is because I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get your own room, and it doesn't need to be him, near him. I am in. All right, excellent. We see Kobach's mom come out of the, the front door of the estate, and she says, Goodbye, Kobach. We will miss you. And Dad looks out from, like, a, a balcony, and he's mm, Good riddance. Goodbye, mother. Sperm donor. Be well. The ramp <laughs> closes on the Terrapin, and you are now all aboard your... What will be your home? It's very dusty. Yeah, sorry, I didn't have time to tidy no. up, you know. Okay, <laughs> everything's not like a personal attack on you, God. <laughs> the ship is pretty bad, like a season finale of Hoarders. I don't know, there's not that much stuff in here. It's just like it's just like if you were just hoarding dirt. And rat poop. Oh, sorry, that was me. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for joining us for this episode zero of the Tableverse podcast. The crew of the Terrapin begin their adventure in episode one, which is available to listen to right now on your podcasting app of choice. If you like this episode, please consider giving us a review and rating on iTunes. That would really help other amazing people such as yourself to find the show. If you'd like to keep up with us between episodes, you can find us across all social media platforms at the Tableverse. The Tableverse podcast is a timid jester production. The podcast is edited by Jeffrey Duke and myself. Quib is played by Allison Klemp. You can find her at Allison Klemp. Powell is played by Connor Gallagher. You can find him at Connor Said What. Kobach is played by Quentin Lamar. You can find him at Quentin Lamar. Captain Eustace Criana is played by Jeffrey Duke. You can find him at Jeffrey Duke. Original music for the Tableverse podcast was composed by Jennifer Rokamp. You can find her at jenniferrokamp.com. Original artwork for the Tableverse podcast was illustrated by Liara K. Crane. You can find her at liarakcrane.co.uk. Until next time, remember, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny. It is in ourselves. <laughs>